Yeah, Coach, uh, Khalil Ware, um, in terms of his uh, on the offensive end, um, did you like seeing that confidence, kind of that spark, and, and how, how have you worked to hit with him to kind of develop that? Uh, did you see confidence lacking when he came in at all? I'm curious. Well, I mean, you know, it's been a lot of really going at him, you know, in practice to get him to be aggressive and and do the things that we want him to do on the offensive end. And he's starting to show some signs that he's that he can do that. I mean, he's a skilled guy, but, you know, we got to get him now where because it's, it's getting ready to start for real now. And, you know, he's going to be playing much bigger guys, um, more talented bigs. And I'm just curious to see where he's going to be once we start that journey. Zion in the Mason in front. Mike, you guys shot 25 free throws tonight. Just what does it do for your offense where you can get to the line that often? Well, it, it takes a lot of pressure off having to play in the half court. You know, we also had 27 points, fast break points. And, you know, that's going to be huge, you know, moving forward. So we don't have to rely on playing so much in the half court. Um, we can generate points with our defense. Um, that's a bonus, you know, when you playing playing offense, you know, when you can get up in passing lanes and disrupt opponents with your defense and get steals and then get out and run. Um, that's how the game should be played. Mason front and Daniel. Coach, specifically with your backcourt, you guys got, I think it was close to 20 assists and no turnovers from them. And they also played a big factor on the defensive side as well. What did you see from them tonight that kind of led to their success? Well, again, I mean, we're, we've been stressing, you know, we watched so, so much from a film standpoint um, where, you know, we're just not making the extra pass. A guy draws two people and somebody's sitting there wide open and we'll try to drive through the guy, uh, through the two people and or around them instead of just making the extra pass. And uh, that's going to be critical, man. I mean, you know, the only way you beat defenses is you got to make the extra pass. If it calls for you to set a screen, you have to set screens. Uh, and I thought tonight we really sacrificed the ball and, and, and made assists. Hell, X and Gallo both, I think, had six assists tonight. Daniel, front and truck. Mac had 15. I believe he had 14 last time. I don't, I'm just um, wondering how you'd kind of evaluate his start so far. Who, McKenzie? Yeah, Mac and Baca. Yeah, I mean, he's he's been solid. I mean, and he's been solid ever since he came here. You know, from a defensive standpoint, we have to speed the process up with him because, you know, the way we scramble and do things, you know, you got to communicate it and then you got to you got to give energy to get where we need to go from a defensive standpoint. And he's still in the learning stages right now as well as a lot of the newcomers. Trevor, on your right to the top. Uh, Anthony Walker's been really good in the two exhibition games. What has he been like in practice, and what do you think he'll do for the team this season? Well, he's been solid. I mean, he's given me enough confidence. That whole second unit has given me enough confidence since we've been together that, you know, I can play him. I mean, I feel good. Somebody's not playing well in the first unit. I feel really good about playing guys in the second unit because they compete. They like to compete. and. That's how it's got to be the rest of the season. Uh, Kalil has done a lot of his damage in the second half. I think he's had 27 points over the two exhibitions in the second half. Once he seems to get going, he gets going. What do you think gets him going? Well, I called a couple of plays for him, um, you know, in the second half. But it's not about play calling. I mean, he's big enough, you know, when he – we run our pick and roll offense. He's big enough to roll and demand the ball as a big target. You know, he can run the floor and, and and get buckets that way. He can get offensive rebounds. So, I mean, you know, I've never bought into guys saying, well, hell, coach, you don't run plays for me. There's all kind of ways of, of scoring the basketball. And he's capable of doing that, you know. And sometimes you have to pick on other you know, guys that are guarding him. You know, I mean, I ran a back screen where he got a, a bullet pass down the middle and, and ended up laying it in. I mean, plays like that, you you know, you got to take advantage of it. But 
I thought he was solid tonight. He did a lot of good things on the floor while he was out there, and we're going to need him to continue to grow. Coach, obviously this is the first time you and your team have taken the court since Coach Knight passed. Just, you know, how much was he on your mind at all tonight? Did anything about game prep or game day feel a little different for you? No, I mean, it's, it's been tough, man. I mean, you know, I, I prep every, every game the same way, man. But, you know, knowing that he's not around anymore, it, it means more now to me. Um, you know, I mean, I, I wish I could do all the things he's done as a coach. I mean, it, it, which is impossible to do, you know, for me. And my thoughts was, will always be with him. I mean, they'll never go anywhere. You know, I mean, as long as I come into this building knowing that this is Bob Knight's building, uh, I'm going to always think about him, you know, and, and just hopefully I can make him proud. That's a, that's all I, I think about every day that I come here and work and coach. All right, Monty, last one. Woody, with the, with the season three or four days away, what's your biggest concern going in? Well, I mean, again, these are two practice games. You know, when it – when it's for real, I mean, my I don't have a concern. I just want to make sure that our guys are prepared and ready to play at a high level, you know, and just keep doing the things that we've been doing. I mean, we've done some pretty good things from an offensive standpoint and a defensive standpoint, and we got to build on those things. And don't forget how we've done them. You know, I mean, that's that's what's important moving forward. And everybody's got to push each other to get better. You know what I mean? We still got a long way to go, man, and it starts on Tuesday. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, guys.